Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, playing a Holy Fury mod, or DLC, I keep saying mod, <laughs> Holy Fury DLC came out on the 13th, and we are in the uh, Slavic Union uh, campaign here, where we need to, I'm mean, probably go over this every episode, just for people that come in, thinking like, oh, this is, you know, the Rorik Dynasty, and we're in Northgorod, but our main objective in this is going to be to get the Slavic Union achievement. It's actually called, um, Lech, Czech, and Rus achievement, where, um, you have to get con full control of every county in the, uh, Bohemia, which is over there. Um, Polish, you also need Russian, which is pretty, or, uh, Bohemia, Poland, Galicia, Bohemia right here, um, you need Ruthenia, which is that, uh, Chernoff, which is this, and then Vladimir up here, and then you need Rus, which I think Rus is Ruthenia, I think it's only called, uh, Rus if you're like Russian culture, I'm gonna look at the, uh, the things on, uh, look inside the, uh, file that'll tell you exactly the duchies and all I'll print it out. It's easier to go by the duchy instead. Um, let's see something here. Kingdom of Bohemia. Alright, so Great Mor Morovia is not that. So we don't have to worry about getting that. That's its own kingdom. So yeah, and we gotta literally go... Uh, and, oh, and Pomerania, if you have control of that, will become de jour along with the rest. So... Just it, not including Pomerania, we go around Poland, Bohemia, and it curves back up, goes around, and then we go down like this over Galicia, Valenia, we go around Ruthenia, come around this way, go around Chernoff, go around Vladimir, back, we don't need Nothgorod, but we have it already, so if we didn't have that, it would just be like that, and then come back around to meet at Poland, which we kind of... I would think, you know, Lithuania, uh, Lithuania would be part of it, but I guess not. Mm. And, like, Pomerania is an extra, so I'm going to try to get that, too. Just because of the coastline part of it. I mean, most of these are all uh, inland provinces. Like, if we didn't have those garage, and the one little part we had that's able to get ships, we'd be screwed. We wouldn't be able to make any. Uh, our sh we're waiting for our tech to go up over here. It's not our capital, so it's going on its own. If you look at the little gear underneath shipbuilding, it is uh, already like building up on its own. So it'll eventually fill in that, that whole first block. And when it does, we can um, finally build a shipbuilder here and add ship uh, six more ships because we have no ships of our own. We got we start out with these forty galleys, uh, event spawn ones, and you don't lose ships in this like EV four. So there's no reason for us to lose those. But it only lets us carry four thousand men. I want to be able to get like ten thousand. So what we're gonna do on this one, and we did have the warrior spawn here that were uh, I think the build legend ones from our Stuart, which I'm surprised because he had the least likely chance of making them spawn you can get the build zeal ones you have to use them in the religious wars so we really can't make religious wars right now i don't know if it counts where you go to war against somebody of a different religion then maybe it would i have to look into that more uh we're definitely gonna go against this guy right now because we do got these troops so we're gonna have to use them or they get mad at you so uh i think we're gonna take narva just because we need more coast to build ships and i was looking at the tech, he already has two whole spots filled out for shipbuilding here. So we'll be able to get, let me see, the next, you get the one, you get city shipyard. The next one, you get city shipyard too, or shipbuilder we we're going to have. And then at the third, you get three. So we'll be able to do two, like right off the bat. And I think he already has one built. Yeah, he has one built. So we'll be able to build shipbuilder two right away. Which is nice. And then we'll eventually take this one too. This one also has a ship builder. And for some reason, some of these counties get the wall and ditch uh, thing. Ours doesn't for some reason. Um, and I guess maybe it's because his culture, Estonian, allows that. Like ours doesn't have that. And it gives you extra fort level, which you really can use at the tribal level. So yeah, we're gonna go get Tay right now just to get these coastal. 
it sucks that we can't get uh like do a uh vassalization he's never gonna go for a different culture and religion so we're just gonna get the one here that borders us and he doesn't have nowhere close to the men we have so it'll be pretty easy you just want to get these it's not land that we need but you know, it's, it's land that's going to be very helpful especially with the whole ships we're norse vikings we need ships so we're going to go ahead and do narva um i think there's somebody i wanted to some warriors that will come without being paid because we need a couple uh this guy he's a desert expert i don't know how helpful that would be here but i guess it's better than nothing uh he's a holy warrior so that'd be good He's craving though. God damn it. Uh, what is good for the guy that's a desert expert, even though. I think I got two more coming too. We got a slob here. I like try to find ones with like decent modifiers, but that'll do for now. We got this guy, I think, coming too, the berserker. I do want to go berserk at some time, but I'm just afraid to kill my heir. So I think I'm gonna wait till my heir takes over and then do it. Because he's in the same warrior lodge. We can do warrior training, but we also I think we have to wait. Yeah, as we do this, we're going to duel this guy. And we'll get some renown for that. I should have did it first, but too late now. Uh, two of our vassals will help us. One being 1,786 men, so that's good. Um, we are going to call them. i um, kind of debating on whether I should even raise my other men. So I don't have to pay. Uh, we can just have the other guy um, join up with us. So we'll go up here. We will put ourselves in the middle. We'll get Rolo and I think this guy or this one. We got this Tengri guy. I forgot about, but he's terrible. Gary replace him. I guess we'll use him. All right, we're gonna go right there. I don't think he'll even have a thousand men, to be honest. All right, where's the rest of your dudes at? There we go. All right. You're the only one that joined? Where's the other guy at? Said he was going to join. I think we'll be okay, though. Without having to raise my men. I guess he told me to go F myself. Um, He's one of the guys. There's that one guy. It's a berserker. I think we're going to put him in for one of the other dudes. Whoa, why did my, uh... What happened to my damn guy? Why did he go down? He's angry. For what? Title claimant desires a yard on a. Mm. We'll give him money, keep him happy. He's my damn chancellor. I need him to get that claim on Pluck so we can um, take that. Can we make. Yeah, we'll get to those guys. Um, I wanted to get that for the religious uh, site from my heretic server, is Slavic. Uh, where's that one dude? I guess we'll replace him. Um, and then we have... There's another guy that's not that great. This guy's 11. I guess we'll replace him with him. Alright. Um, where's our guys going over there? I'll put in the Berserker. Even though he's a direct leader. We're a defender. I think we'll put him in the middle. Just because he's more better off suited. We'll put, you know what, no, we lead our armies. Alright, so, yeah, the other guy, oh, there he is. That's not the guy, though, that's the one that said he wasn't going to help. The other guy, I guess, with the more men, told me to go screw myself. Uh, we should be okay. Uh, that guy is the desert one, alright. Oh, whoa, whoa, what happened? Where do these guys come from? Hold on, the 425 already event spawn. We'll just bring them in case. We see, with that whole movement lock, that's what screws you. <laughs> I think the other guys went that way, though. I think these are his only cap, his only uh, things here. That's under him, too. So, I think he just got more men somehow. Because he didn't have that many. Retinue, potential, uh, potential vassal, ally troops. Alright. Let's see. Did the other guy call? Nope. He really screwed me over. We can't call in our, our ally for some reason. 
I wonder why. Call to arms. There must be a war he can be called into. It is a war. Why can't he be called into it? <laughs> Hopefully we beat him with our better uh, people. On our way through the plains, a gigantic boulder blocks our path. Commander Olaf is arguing at length with his officers about whether we should try riding around the river crossing or not. When suddenly I hear them shouting my name, gesturing in my direction with a huge hammer. Finally, let's do something about this rock. Nice, we gained brawny. That's awesome. We gained more health, personal combat skill, and martial. Uh, and the other guys get a better opinion of us. Our one guys are coming, so we might be okay. Coming with those guys. We are getting a penalty from River Cross, and we might actually lose this battle. So I'm thinking maybe I raise these troops. We'll go there too. They're probably not going to make it in time, but I don't go up. That's it, right? All right. Oh, I think the one guy did join all of a sudden. We can't have him come in there right now. Let's see. Oh no, he just got more men. All right. I guess his own vassals must have joined him. Oh, I think we're going to lose. Oh, no, we got it. They're still coming, though, so... Yeah, they just joined. Come on. Get in there. All right, we got it. Good. It came just in time. Jesus. Milas was captured in battle. Is now my prisoner. Who is he? We get any money for him? We can get 10 gold. We do have some uh, people I should ransom. We have... This chick's 10. I think we might keep... I don't know, how old is this guy? 50? I think we'll keep... Uh, this girl is worth 46, but her pops don't have the money right now. So, we'll keep her. I think she's 46. Yeah, we'll keep her. Um, we need to keep one of these women. I think I'll keep that woman for uh, when we need to uh, sacrifice. Yeah, I'll get the 10 for her. And then 10 for... Uh, Little meanless. He will make a pseudo. Oh no. Yeah, fuck it. So we killed him. Alright. <laughs> well, we didn't get the money for him, so it's okay. Alright. Uh, Accept paying your ransom. Did he just get blinded? Yeah, I think he was blinded. I remember his other guys. <laughs> Unfortunate circumstances forced me to cancel. The bout of carousing and merrymaking that we had planned. We have to make it up when times are happier. It's such a shame. I think because I started the war. Alright, um... I want to take off some of these men. So these guys are going to be uh, the one troops. Uh, where are the uh, vent spawn ones? 600... The 411 are... My actual troops. So these guys will be the 370 is retinue, and then I have the event spawn troops are over here. There's 391 left of them, so I take them off. Well, I already toggled the loot. Take that off. Maybe the other guys are too. Yeah, take that off. All right, we're at 26 percent. I really don't want to lose that money on my own men. So all I gotta do. How many men do we need here to siege this? We, only, we need 900, so we're going to need uh, that 414. Okay, that's one of them, I think. You know what, we'll siege this down first. Everybody just stay here. Siege this down and then we'll get rid of my actual men. We'll just bring them all over and then hit uh, cancel our domain troops because we're losing a lot of money a month having them raised when we don't need to them to keep going off raiding and shit what the hell just happened uh, I got the empire thing oh, no, or the kingdom thing I was like why is that not going away all right bring these all back now I can just go up here and Dismiss my personal levies.
So now we have these guys. One of them are event spawn. I think the 383 are my event spawn. These guys are my regular troops, and these are my retinue. All right, so we'll just take these guys minus the ret, uh, the vent spawn. So they'll keep following me, so I don't need these guys. They're gonna go down there and stay with them. This way, we're not losing that five and change. We got enough men to take him out. Mm. Yeah, we got all our bed we need. Go ahead and take them out. And then we'll siege that down. Our ongoing struggle outside of Caliban tribe has brought out the best of our military strategists. One of them is a Norse veteran with a penchant for innovation. He is suggesting that he retire from the battlefront, return to Northgorod to continue his work safe from flying arrows. Sounds like a solid investment. So we gain 30 military tech points. Let's see. We do need those for stuff. Um... Yeah, that'll actually help if we can move this up some. 45 gold. A commander named Carson, whatever, joins your court ready for service. So I guess that's this dude. Yeah, he's no one special. So we'll, we'll do the investment instead. And we get technology spread for 10 years. Yeah, it's a sound investment. He died though. <laughs> A woman accused of witchcraft and comb has been dragged before your court. Several witnesses have seen her performing dark rituals in her secluded hut, possibly related to recent crop failures. She claims innocence and it falls you to determine her fate. Definitely. I want the party. Alright, so we got Stuart gives us plus two marshal. Ooh, are we gonna lose? No, we're holding up in the middle. Rollo is getting his ass kicked by no commander. He's winning a little right now. Alright. I could have sworn I heard the enemy commander, Chief Velo, barking orders, but I searched the forest. He is nowhere to be found. As a fellow soldier finally informs me that he has been spotted cowering in, in the far back behind a hollow tree, most disgracefully behind his troops. <coughs> Excuse me. There you are. I've been itching for a fight. So, uh, we can do a personal duel. Oh, yeah. His duel skills nuts. <laughs> Uh, we get prestige if we let him go, but no. My spear gleamed in the light. The wind blew gently across my face. I moved aggressively in a whirlwind of blows. They were, they were down. <laughs> I left them lying on the ground and went to celebrate my victory. I walk away victorious. Win the duel. Uh, I will show no mercy. Yeah, let's up our kill with some. Even though he's blind. <laughs> It gives us that extra morale boost. Um, Alright, so we're sieging this down. It's got a little bit of none. This isn't his land. This is the... Um, I'm going to ask 500. But we'll stay here because he's going that way. Actually, we're going to take these guys across there. Because I don't want him to come off retreat. Right on those guys there. Some of his guys went the other way. It might be alright. He's actually going up that way, so we'll cut around there. He's got a thousand there. I don't know how he has so many men. Still. We just won like two battles. Alright, they're going to try to take that back. We should be okay. Um, you guys get down here. As soon as we take this, we can hit him. He's not going to go after my retinue, so we're alright. I'm on. There we go. Now we'll go take him out. <clears throat> oh, we're at 100. We don't even need to waste the men. Alright. Rogue the Just usurped the chiefdom of Narva. Alright, I thought it was the wrong one. That kid had Narva. Alright. It says, uh, the North... Nor Nor Guardian conquest of Narva has ended. So nice. We get, uh... We'll get these guys back there. You guys go back to the capital. And we'll drop those go oh. Alright, they went away because they were event spawn. I forgot. Nice. So we still got a decent amount of our own levy still. We didn't really lose any. Um, we did lose some of the event spawn troops. So we're down to 383 of those. I do need to uh, fill out the rest of these, this retinue. I just don't want to use the friggin' money. 
If we put it up to half, it's going to be three a month we're going to lose. So we're actually going to lose 2.15 because we're making a profit of one a month. So I don't know how long. What's the reinforcement rate? I think we have to wait till we get back in our land anyway. So we'll take it off until we get back. We can make more retinue, man. It's just it costs so much to uh, keep reinforced. It's like by the time they uh, get fully reinforced, we'll be broke. We have to go raiding. Um, I don't know why it's not showing me the uh, reinforcement. 1.2% reinforcement a month. That's crazy. 1.2% a month. So that's like nothing for that much money. If it was on high, it goes up to six. So we're gonna keep that low for now. We're gonna have to wait till uh, we can do some more raiding. Because I've looked at some places before I started. There's a lot of money places uh, down here in like Arab country, especially around this area. And then um, Rome was, I think, was just at war and they have consumption. So that's probably taking a lot off their money. Um, yeah, a lot, I'm going to hit a lot of those Arab areas. Down here, too, where um, Jaffa has a uh, Silk Road at 23. There's a lot around here that have. There's one that has, like, 40. 40 or 50 gold. I think Thrace was one. Yeah, it has missed 30, and it's got consumption. So if it didn't have consumption, it'd be 25% more, I think, than what it is. Let's look at the... Uh, they have consumption bad there, and in Italy part of Iberia we're kind of lucky up here we don't really get much probably because of the cold weather um <laughs> so yeah we're we need to duel this guy what can we do him? duelers have not recently been in a duel I haven't been in, oh that guy I just man I dueled that blind dude renowned duelist so when does it go away duel victory so I have to wait till July I guess yeah, recently defeated another person of duel. Alright. So that's not that bad. We get dual experience. Look at our kill list. We got 14 already. Jeez. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say that the episode I did before this, I don't know what I did, but I I don't think I, I was uh, recording and exporting it from my Filmora film editor and somehow the whole recording got erased so it was like 40 minutes of time if you're wondering like why it was like a jump in between that's why so uh iliana grows more beautiful every day i have my doubts at first but now i cannot deny it any longer the child is surely blessed when my wife played freya during the festival the goddess must have touched the child within her and gifted her with her beauty and purity so our daughter has gotten attractive and will be known as the heavenly Club-footed heavenly girl. <laughs> there was something. Oh, yeah, our heir. He's already betrothed. He's got the one quick son. I think we need to get... There's no geniuses left that are girls. So, we are going to go for quick since he's quick too. We have the Norse girl here that's three. And we have the Sumanisco. She actually has claims on Riga, which is a decent little... Uh, coastal province over there so i think we're gonna go with her because they will go for it uh our air is second so we got our one that's left-handed gives them extra personal combat skill and then we got that one and then we got the other one just normal is she pregnant again no i don't want him to have any concubines not at least till i control him we're getting a little old so we're probably gonna live much longer see what we can do intrigue wise uh tribal festival costs money yeah we really have to be like very cautious of money right now <laughs> we could build uh all right see so this guy now we can build this one ship and it only costs 200 prestige so we're definitely going to do that did we gain the ships on this one nice we just got to build them up so there are going to be 17 here after this fills up which is great Right now, we're not getting any of the levy until 
not even a year. This one's got to be 18 years. Jesus Christ. It's only level reinforcement rate and tax, but goddamn. But we're going to start on that oh, ship builder there, even though we're not going to get those ships for a while. All right. What can we do on our capital? We can do reinforce hill for it, but it wouldn't be too bright to do that right now. We could do the uh, get some more heavy infantry. This one's going to give us a retinue we don't need to worry about right now. Levy reinforcement rate plus 10%. Archers. Um, light infantry. Levy reinforce. Or garrison and levy. Let's look at, uh, where was the other one? Yeah, this one's 100. We can get 15 heavies. We'll go with that one. Make it up. Even 2,000 prestige. We got this on Iron Man. So... Hopefully we'll be able to get this. We'll start to make more money as time goes by. Can't give this guy any gold yet. Can we give him a honorary title? No. Is that guy still in a faction? No. Everybody's out of their faction. Good. We got a little bit more time until we can get legalism up another notch. We need to get that one. I'm gonna focus all my cultural advancement points on that. Since I don't really have a, any factions, um. I think I'm going to send my uh, spy master to study tech in Constantinople. It's because usually they're the most advanced. This is my concubine, but hold on. They got uh, problems there. I don't want to send her there in the middle of consumption. Because she'll end up dying. Do we have anybody good enough to back her up? That guy's not bad. But he is possessed and lunatic, so he's probably not going to want to play nice that guy's pretty good so i guess if we lose her it's not a big deal she probably will get consumption though if we put her there let me look at the other uh other tech places that are good like i know constantinople is like way ahead rome's okay what about cordova cordova's a little ahead uh let's see over here jerusalem what is this ashlon we'll go there is theirs is really good. This one right here. Yeah. We'll send it. Can we even go there? I don't know if that's too far. Damn it! Of course it's got to be too far. Um, what about uh, Antioch? Where is that at? Right here. No, it's not that great. Mm, we'll wait. Oh, no. I'm going to send her... What about Baghdad? I know some of these are a lot better. Like, Baghdad's pretty good. Yeah, we can send her to Baghdad. We're going to send her there. That way we'll get uh, the tech from them. Because it has to be somebody that's ahead of you in, in tech. Uh, let's see. I'm surprised my son hasn't gotten us a raiding party yet. Which is kind of pissing me off because I need the money. Alright, work can be tedious, and when one problem is solved, another one pops up. I tire having to complete the same task over and over again. Let someone else do it. We don't want to get slothful. Um, I can rest in heaven. <laughs> it gains stress 60%. I really don't care about getting diligent, but I do not want slothful. Of course, we got, we got diligent too, but we also got stressed. So, it's alright. Um, where is this guy here? I think it's the jour. Oh no, it's this guy. This guy's a little more powerful. He doesn't have any vassals though. He's only 141. So we can easily take him. And he's got the jour land of ours. We might have to raise our own troops though. We're going to go ahead. He doesn't want to off, uh, go vassalize. So we're going to take his, one of his at least. Let's see which one's better. I don't know why this one's the only one we have the, oh, we can get the whole thing. You know, it's probably worth that 500 prestige just to get that whole thing. I think we'll do that. I'd rather that than get just one and go into a truce. So we'll get the jour on the veps. First, let me make sure I can't do this. Yeah, all right, we can do this guy first. I want to get that done and over with. Petter of Arhaus, Arhus has chosen to accept your challenge of personal combat. The duel will take place in the next few days. 
You don't give up, do you? You're my opponent, Lewis. I thought about it, I mutter, uh, attempting to stand. He did just see you, see to swing his dull spear in a perfect half circle, causing me to fall backwards with a surprise huff. As I slumped back on the ground, Hedder smiles in triumph. Where did I go wrong? So we got wounded. Oh, no. oh yeah, we gain trade wounded. We get swollen wrist. Uh, he gets wounded. Our duel ex increases. We get 100 renown. And we get complete mission duel of honor. Oh, it's just blood on his eye. I thought he lost his eye. Uh, now we can uh, get this guy taken care of. Uh, the jour on Veps. Let's do it. Alright. We can call in uh, old Ironside. There we will, just to get it over with quicker. Alright. Um, let's see our vassals. Two of them will agree, it seems. I'm definitely not using them. Let me see, how many men can I get here? 1,203, so we'll just start moving them just so I know which one's which, and we'll just take those guys. That way we're not spending too much money on those. We're still going to lose a, a duck in a month, but it's not as bad. Yeah, he's got about that many. Where's our other guys at? Alright, he's coming, so... We'll just tell him to attach to us just to get him over here. And then when he gets over here, he can do his own thing. These guys are going to start following us. Since the duel, I have been practicing a bit with Pe Peter. The man did best me. I was quick to ask for any pointers. He seemed surprised at first, but today I am proud to tell him that he's a good teacher and friend, I add. So, there's no shame in acknowledging a worthy opponent. Uh, I will not withstand this mockery. <laughs> Um, we get prestige with that. Uh, I guess we're alright. Why not? He is our bat. No, he's not our vassal. So I don't really need to be friends with him. It's not going to get us anything. Yeah, we'll just get proud. We don't have to worry about sin or anything. We're not Catholic. These guys ran right into him. Alright, um, yeah, you guys meet up. Let me see, who do we have? We need to put. They got Olaf in the middle because they think he's better in the middle. They probably should because we're injured right now. Why are these so lopsided? Actually, yeah, we'll just put them all in the middle. Instead of having 71, at least until the other ones come to us. Oh, he's got a lot of men. Where'd he get all the men from? He must have just hired some. There's no way to... Yeah, event spawned. All right, because of different religion shit. All right, I think we're going to have to lose money now. <laughs> this isn't ours right now. This is... This is... That's not... That is... That is... Alright, so these guys are moving here. You dummies are going that way. So they're going to come up and meet us. They're coming, they're coming. Mm, I think we're going to have to resolve them just to be safe. You know he's going to come this way after us, after, so... Yeah, we'll raise these guys. Put these guys together. That's 1,800, so we still got 1,000 over us. These two are going to make another 1,000, so we'll be straight. When are they going to get there? The 23rd, 20th. These guys are going there, so we'll be there to the 10th. Might be okay. I guess I could take off if he starts coming this way. He's going to this way still. The one are going to get out in the 10th. So, his army is going to be there after. So, he's going to catch the smaller one, which is fun. By the time they get there, we're good. I'm going to just go attack them. I hate losing this much money, man. These freaking, that's the only thing with these Norse troops. They make shit for money. Alright, how long till you get there? The 8th? Alright, alright. 
now we're gonna go take him out. Now we can put the way I want it. All right, put Rollo in the middle. I mean, on that side. We're wounded, but we'll be all right. My lord, there's a noble warrior at the gate. He says he is a veteran of many battles and desires to become a champion of your house. He praises your wisdom and honor and pledges to always defend you and your household if you accept him in your retinue. Uh, it's some guy named Heisen. Yeah, we'll take him. Is he any good? Let's see. Nice. Pretty good. Alrighty. Um, after this battle, we'll go ahead and end it. It's already been like 30 minutes. Get there before you can take it, please. Thank you. Alright, we need those up there. What do we can we do now? Alright, so probably gonna do military organization. Shipbuilding is gonna help us because we don't have uh the opportunity to shipbuild. We'll get some extra uh morale. Let me see these other one. Siege speed. I don't really need that. Heavy will be good to get, but we'll wait. Or rather, the organization. I think next we will do heavy because we'll be so ahead on this one. It'll take forever to get to. We're getting closer to legalism, which is good. This one, I think I'm going to do town. Is it town? I think it's town that I need because I need it for the marketplace three. Which one do we need here? We need marketplace three so we'll go ahead and put that one up as the next one we need for this we don't need to worry about yeah we'll put up marketplace so we can build that one all right how many minutes you have left 1378 so we can uh get rid of our own men again i think You know what, we'll just keep them. We got 41%. We're probably going to be close to 200. We'll get it in this here. Um, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.